I have an alternative MagSafe charger and mount that's cheaper than the ones offered by Apple or Belkin. Let's get into it. With the introduction of the new iPhone 12 line of phones, Apple also introduced MagSafe. MagSafe is a line of accessories that uses magnets to connect to them, to the iPhone 12, or to other MagSafe compatible accessories. I would say the two main categories that have been made are wallets and chargers. There are MagSafe cases, but those are really MagSafe compatible cases. They don't actually use the magnets to attach to the phone themselves. Currently, Apple offers a $40 MagSafe charger, and Belkin offers a car vent that's $40 as well. But that Belkin one is not a charger. You actually have to still plug the cable into the phone to charge it, which I think loses some of the convenience of MagSafe. It's a small thing, but it may be a, a deal breaker for some. Before I get into it, let me just say I'm using the ultra thin later case. In a previous video, I talked about the later cases claim that this is MagSafe compatible and wireless charging compatible. It's definitely wireless charging compatible, but as for MagSafe compatibility, yes, the magnets do hold onto the phone with the case on, but it's definitely not as strong. With an official Apple case or no case at all, uh, MagSafe accessories will definitely attach better. This is the car mount that I'm going to talk about. This, is, this car mount is not only a mount, but also is a wireless charger. It doesn't come with a power adapter that plugs into the car. It has a regular USB cable. Actually, you can use it as a regular home charger if you wanted to, but it was made to attach to uh, the car vent. The unit itself attaches quite well, and once you find the position you like, uh, you can tighten it with this little screw back here. As far as the magnets are concerned, here it is with the later case, and here's where the later case makes it very interesting. Remember, with the later case, the magnet attachment is not that strong. It's quite easy actually to pull it off this mount. This gives me an uneasy feeling while driving, but so far it's held up through the bumpy roads of West Philly. If I happen to hit a big pothole, I have a feeling I'm gonna be searching for my phone somewhere on the floor. Overall, it's been a pretty convenient just being able to pop this on and off. Uh, the only main complaint I have with this is the length of the cable. The cable is very short. It needs to be at least twice as long. Uh, I'm lucky that my car ports are very close by and it'll be okay with the majority of cars. But it's also, have, also nice to have a longer cable uh, so you can do a little bit of cable management and have the cables a little bit more out of sight. So would I recommend this product? If you're looking for a MagSafe car mount and charger, this is definitely a yes. If you're just looking for an alternative to the Apple MagSafe charger, I will look somewhere else. Originally, I was gonna talk about two different chargers instead of one, but this other generic charger here, which is more of a direct uh, Apple MagSafe charger replacement, didn't quite work. So this one is definitely going back. If you're looking for a wireless charger for your phone, there are plenty of Qi chargers out there, but of course they're not MagSafe compatible. I personally believe that Max, the MagSafe system is just one step closer to having an iPhone that is totally portless. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.